a number of new faces out on the ice. Uh, Sheldon Surrey, Brian Allen on the back end are figuring uh, to be big contributors for you. Yeah, and I was pleasantly surprised on, on both of them. Uh, uh, I mean, if you watch Sheldon, he wasn't shooting the puck hard at all, but when he's shooting, Corey Perry said he's going to have to go out and buy some new armor just to stand in front of the net, but uh, he can bring it. And uh, I think he's going to be a, a great asset on the power play with him being able to shoot the puck the way it is. Brian Allen is a big body. I've played against him for a lot of years. And he blocks shots. He's really good defensively, and he's gonna he's gonna be a tough guy to play against. So those guys itself have made our made ourselves a better team. Special teams goaltending obviously crucial early on. You're a coach whose reputation is that your team gets out of the gate fast, and then obviously in a condensed schedule, we got to get off to a pretty good start here. I, I think it's nine out of the first 14 games are going to be played away from Honda Center. So what can you do to, to help that, that happen, help make that happen, that fast start? Well, I just think if we are prepared, and that's our goal, is to be prepared. If we're prepared to go, it doesn't matter if we're on the road when we're playing. We love playing in front of you guys a lot more than being on the road. But at the same time, we're no strangers to the road, and I think we had a pretty successful last half of the year on the road. So we'll go in and we'll scare a few teams uh, starting Saturday night. We got a question over here. What are you going to do to put the guys up the freeway in their place? <laughs> How much trouble do you want me to get in? Uh, you know what? I think I said it best uh, in the paper about a month ago. It took them 45 years to get it right. Let's hope it takes another 45 years to get it right. So. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go out there and you know, listen, we don't like them. They don't like us. It's 1-1. One, one. Let's see who wins the two out of three. With so many superstars, and I really mean superstars like Ryan Getzlaff, Perry, it's inconceivable to me that uh, Sporting Hockey News could list us as predicting to be 11th this year in the Western Division. And I just don't understand that. Your thoughts on that? Good. Let them predict all they want because reality is going to show show them different. I haven't met a, a good prognosticator yet that's got it right. So, I mean, uh, uh, if that's what they think, great. We're, it's great to be the underdog and show up everybody. That's what we'll do. We'll show them up. We're, we've got a good hockey club here. And we're going to go out and we're going to prove we're a good hockey club. And we've got a hungry hockey club. And uh, so, I mean... It's, it's going to be tough to play against the Anaheim Ducks this year. We were, we were doing something when I told the, the players today, I said, don't feel like you're an underdog, basically. We, from January to the end of March last year, we had the third best record in the National Hockey League. And I don't see why that shouldn't continue right now. We're a better team than we were last year. So, And I mean, if we weren't at the Honda Center, we wouldn't have been able to invite you guys, which was a great treat for the players and myself because you know, we owe minimum we owe this to you so the way I was thinking coming up the stairs you know we owe an awful lot to the fans and I think the best way to repay you is, is if we played an extra two months this year after the season is over that would be well on its way I think for those of you who don't know Bruce's philosophy is is somewhat different than the previous regime he wants four lines that can play in a condensed schedule, that's even going to be more important. And looking out on the ice today, it's kind of nice as, a, as an outsider looking in to see some young legs and some speed on the wings, and that's going to be important as well. You need to get some production out of those third and fourth lines. Absolutely. And, I mean, if you don't, you know, when I got here last year, the third and fourth line between them had one goal. And you can't win unless you're getting production throughout the lineup. Now, we're not asking the fourth line guys to score 20 goals each, but they have to be able to contribute five and five to eight goals in, in a season. And I firmly believe that they've got to be able to play, especially on the road, when you put them out there. Like, say we go to Vancouver this uh, Saturday, and all of a sudden there's a face-off and the fourth line is out, and they put the Sedins on. They better sure as well be able to play against them. And that's what I want is any line to be able to play against anybody. And if you do, then it makes it very difficult for them to match lines with you, and it gives you an advantage. 
Hi, Coach. Just uh, wondering, we've seen Bobby Ryan moved around quite a bit in the last few years, trying to find a second scoring line. Watching him out here with um, Solani and Bonino, I'm just wondering if that's what you would envision maybe for a second line for us. They looked pretty good, too, I thought, you know, and, uh, uh, and, and that's, again, with the balance, even... If you look at the blue line with Koivu, Winnick, and Cogliano, I thought they skated very well today. And that's that's a good sign. And then even on the fourth line, probably the best guy watching the last few days has been Matt Bolesky. And you add, uh, um, you know, the likes of a Peter Holland or Kyle Palmieri. These guys can play and are good players. And, you know, so, I mean, I think all of them are, are I think the, the we're starting to get that balance that we're looking for. Bruce, uh, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to talk with all of us here this afternoon. I especially want to say thank you to all the fans for coming back to Honda Center. We can't wait to see you here next week when the Ducks open at home. It's going to be a great year, and we're all looking forward to it. Thanks, Brian, and again, thank everybody. Thank you guys for coming down. We missed you too, so we'll talk to you soon.